हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर नलिनी गुप्ता फ्रॉम डायनामिक फर्टिलिटी एंड आईवीएफ सेंटर आज हम बात करेंगे मेल इनफर्टिलिटी पे मेल इनफर्टिलिटी मींस फैक्टर्स फ्रॉम अ मैन व्हिच आर रिस्पांसिबल टू इन कॉजिंग फेलियर ऑफ कंसेप्शन वी ऑल नो व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी वी लेबल इट एज इनफर्टिलिटी प्रॉब्लम व्हेन अ कपल फेल टू कंसीव आफ्टर 1 ईयर ऑफ unprotected sex after the whole young proper population 10 to 15% will be couple will be affected by infertility in this one third of the problem will be because of the man one third problems will be because of the lady and one third third problem will be because of the combination of both of them male fertility is one of the least discussed problem and least investigated one till the recent times आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे अबाउट डायग्नोसिस एंड सेवरल ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल फॉर ट्रीटिंग फैक्टर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मेल इन फ्रॉफिट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम लेट्स नो बेसिक्स अबाउट द प्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इन अ मैन नंबर वन अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस इज द प्रोसेस थ्रू विच द स्पर्म्स आर फॉर्म Sperms are formed in an organ called as testes. The important thing testes के लिए जाना जरूरी है. Testes हमारे शरीर से थोड़े से बाहर की तरफ होते हैं. Why it is important? Nature has designed it so that the temperature of testes is little bit lesser than the male body. इसीलिए just for, uh, for everybody's information, wearing very tight underclothing, having very hot uh, showers for very long time. may affect the sperm count till the recent time semen analysis was the only parameters with which we used to assess male fertility who defines the criteria of semen analysis to define what is normal and which is not normal most recent update given by who is of 2010 according to that the parameters of a normal semen analysis are 15 million count per mole with 32% progressive mortality and at least 4% normal with strict progress criteria if these parameters are disturbed then the terms which are generally used and everybody wants to know what these terms means are oli oligospermia which shows that the count is less asthenospermia which shows the motility is less and teratospermia which shows that normal forms are less and in some condition all three Uh, parameters can be little skewed all three parameters can be disturbed and then the term generally people find in their diagnosis is oligoasthenoteratospermia which shows that number as well as motility and normal forms are less in that semen analysis assisted reproductive techniques have revolutionized revolutionized our approach in the treatment of infertility as we all know just a little brief introduction to the history of assisted reproductive techniques IVF was discovered or coined for the first time by Patrick Stepto and Robert Edward and the first baby born by IVF or in vitro fertilization was Louis Brown in 1978 but that basically was done in a lady with tube factor till that time there was not much to help in assisted reproductive techniques to help male partner In 1990, Dr. Palermo described and discovered ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, and revolutionized the area of treatment for male infertility. First baby born from ICSI was in 1992, and after that, we have not looked back. There are a lot of upgradation which has come to ICSI. We will discuss in a little bit of a time. ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It helps the male patients. with very less sperm count even then the having their own biological child is possible in this the sperms are selected and one selected sperm morphologically normal selected sperm is injected in an egg because of ICSI even the people where the sperms were not present in ejaculate could have their biological child in these cases the sperms with were retrieved retrieved surgically or the minor surgical procedures sometimes the sperms can be according to the case of the patient the sperm can be retrieved from the epididymis they can be retrieved from the testicular 
uh, biopsy or and testicular extraction. In some cases, microtesa can be done, which is even more involved process and involves a microscope. It is done under high higher magnification under microscope. As the time passed, then we realized the ICSI was not ultimate answer to everything because selecting the sperm was the most important thing in this. So we needed a tool which helps us in selecting the sperm. For a healthy pregnancy, the sperm in the male part has to be physiologically and morphologically normal. To select a physiologically normal sperm, the tool right, right now available to us is Pixie in which they are specialized plates in which we select a physiologically normal sperm. Pixie can be alternative in people with having low number of motile sperm but with normal morphology. In cases where there is repeated IVF failures, in cases where there are problems with sperm and egg binding, here ICSI can give us an edge over achieving a pregnancy. These are few cases where ICSI can be helpful. After that, let's talk about tool which helps us in selecting sperm better morphologically. That means it is more normal. Normal sperm is very important because sperm is a cell created by the nature whose only job is to transfer DNA from male partner to the female partner in the egg. It is one of the most efficient and the smallest cell in the body. So abnormality of sperms can rarely play a role in infertility and early abortions. In these cases, MC helps us. MC helps us in selecting a morphologically normal sperm because it gives us magnification more than 2000 times. So we can create a pool of better morphologically better sperms and then do ICSI with it. And it can give us a positive or better result by 5 to 7%. Now where the MC plays a role? MC is useful in males with little higher age groups where the abnormal sperms are more, that means teratozoospermia, where there are more uh, history of recurrent failures or abortions. There, MC can give us advantage of 5 to 7 percent. These are the few techniques which helps us in assisted reproductive techniques in giving better results. Even more important than them, uh, these tools, I think we need to discuss the other environmental life side factors which can also affect fertility to some extent. In fact, to a large extent. So I think everybody should actually focus on their lifestyles. Please avoid smoking. The, the cigarette smoking will affect the semen parameters. It will affect the DNA in the sperms. It will give more DNA damage and it will affect the motility. Drinking too much, drugs, steroid abuse, they are harmful for uh, fertility. Plus the lifestyle has to be healthy. The stress has to be in control. So please have a balanced life, balanced food, balanced exercises and please try to be happy. Happy people generally face least of the problems. Thank you.